So we're just going to start applying a little bit of oil on the skin now. Okay, and we're going to be working into the, the rotator cuff as well. So just specifically into here. Okay, so we're going to get straight in now with the tools. Whenever I work with a patient, you know, I'll reassess as I go along, kind of working with them and then just have a, having a feeling into the tissues and things. Um, and the beauty about using the techniques is when you're using the tools, you're, you're doing that as part of the treatment as well, you're having a feel of how things are progressing. So what I want you to do is while I'm working into here, we're going to get some active movement going in, okay? So what I want you to do is just as if you're throwing a hook, just nice and slowly take the arm up, yeah, and all the way across the body as if you're throwing that hook and just get, a, get that stretch right at the end, that's what I'm looking for. That's it, perfect. Okay, and then just bring it back this way for me. Okay, good. Okay. Yeah, keep going nice and slowly. Okay, and what I want you to do now is I want to put a little bit of rotation into that movement. So I want you to take it up like this. Okay, as so if you're throwing an overhook okay. and you're coming down. Okay, so we're going yeah. to rotate and bring the fist down as we down. get across. Yeah. Okay, go ahead nice and slowly. That's it. So elbow up, fist down. Perfect. Okay, and back up this way. You okay with the pressure? Yeah. See, so whereas it was kind of like just inflammation everywhere before, now we can really feel like it's focused in certain spots in it. Yeah. Okay, now reach up towards the ceiling. Is there any particular movements that you feel that you're restricted in or you still have? No, I feel like I've got full movement back. Yeah. Okay, lifting up all the way to the top. When getting into the supraspinatus, we can feel the clavicle that comes across. We've got the acromion here and then we've got the spine of the, of the scapula. So in the supraspinatus fossa, we dip off the spine of the scapula into this little crevice here, and that is where the supraspinatus sits. How does that feel there? Is that tender at all? No, that feels no. fine. Okay, so it seems like this is more the infraspinatus. Sometimes when we get rotator cuff issues, it can be obviously in any of the tissues. The most common culprit, I would say, is the, you know, is the lateral shoulder, meaning the, the teres and the infraspinatus, but quite often we can get involvement with the supraspinatus. Very often when you go and have ultrasounds and you have scans, they'll tell you, okay, you've got, you know, supraspinatus tendonitis, so it's your supraspinatus which is damaged. But what, what a lot of the people, a lot of the, the kind of old thinking in terms of shoulder function, they used to think that the, each one of the rotator cuff come in separately and that it's always the supraspinatus tendon which comes here. But it's actually, what happens is we've got what we call a common tendinous insertion. So you get all of the rotator cuff and they come in and they attach on a common attachment site. So sometimes when they'll tell you an ultrasound, it's this particular one of your rotator cuff, it's one of these tendons, the accuracy of that is really kind of very um, questionable. <laughs> yeah. And the best way to figure it out is by manual palpation and seeing the response of how the tissues are feeling. And obviously we've got these, which, we, which are the three rotator cuff, and there's also the subscapularis, which is underneath. Okay, so we're gonna lift up here and just have a feel Deep into oh, the into the shoulder. English. <laughs> yeah, okay, now we get deep underneath the shoulder blade. How's that when I press in there? Just yeah, I can feel like a little pain still. Here we're gonna do some manual work. It's hard to get in with the tools in this area, um, unless you're dealing with huge people. Um, and we've got a few of those which we have used the tools on. <laughs> yeah, because I've yeah. mark. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, but in this case, I'm gonna be using my hand just to stimulate the subscap. And also, while I'm working in, we're going to get some internal and external rotation going. So, rest on my shoulder, yeah. I'm just going to turn out, and then we're going to turn in. Okay. okay. Just keep doing that for me, back and forth. Oh. Okay, perfect. All right, rest up. Oh, yeah, that was defo hitting the spot. Yeah, okay. All right, we're going to get going with the cocktail.